Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mabel and I film from Oshobo City, Oshan State, Nigeria. If today is your first time of tuning in, you are so much welcome. I love you all. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell notification so as to get notified each time I upload a new video. Give me a thumbs up, it really makes me happy if you like this video. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make jollof rice the easiest way. You don't really have to be stressed or get bored, get overwhelmed because you want to make jollof rice. No, today I will share with you how to make it in the easy way, which is also going to come out amazing and delicious. To begin, I'm going to show you the ingredients which I'm going to be using to cook the chicken. Over here, I have a medium-sized onion, lots of small garlic cloves, green scotch bonnet pepper, some ginger, and of course, rosemary. Chicken and rosemary goes a long way together. So I'm going to cut up all the vegetables now to help the blade of my blender and I'm going to add everything into the blender. Add water to it and blend. This is the chicken, it has already been washed. I'm going to transfer it into a pot and add all the blended vegetables. Then I'm going to season with some salt, chicken stock powder, thyme, curry, combine everything together and I'm going to cover and put on the stove. 10 minutes later, I went to check on it. Stir it together and it was done already because this is soft chicken. I don't want to overcook it because we are still going to fry it in the oil. So I'm taking it out of the stock and I'll set it aside while I place a pan on the stove, add vegetable oil and allow that to be eaten up. While I went to strain the chicken stock, So this is the stock or broth I have here and this is the remains I extracted from the chicken stock which I'm going to keep in my freezer and I'm going to use it with so many other recipes and it's so good. Now the oil is hot enough and I'm going to add the chicken into it and fry until it's all nice and golden brown and I'll set that aside. In a clean dry pot, I'm going to strain in some of the oil I use in frying the chicken and I'm going to add the sliced onions and fry these until it's translucent. Then I'll add in the tomato paste. This was brought out from the freezer not too long ago and I'm going to stir everything together so it can be frying. And I'm also going to let it rest for another two minutes so it can release out the sour taste before I will add in the pepper and onion mix. Combine everything together and let it sit there for another two minutes. And after two minutes, it should look like this. Oil has started to flow to the top and it has begun to separate from each other. That is how you know your stew base is ready. So I'm going to stir this up now and I'm going to season with some salt, curry powder, thyme and some shrimp powder. Combine everything together and it's time to add in the washed rice. Once the rice is inside, I'm going to combine everything beautifully and add the chicken broth, stir to loosen and I'm also going to rinse the bowl with some water, add it to the rice, stir everything together. I tasted and it was so good so I added two bay leaves to it 
and cover allow to start cooking 10 minutes later i went to check on it stir it together cover again for another five minutes five minutes later i went back to the pot of rice and it's almost dry up so i stir to combine because in jello fries you really need to stir and it was looking so good and taste delicious so i cover it for another two minutes before i open it up and added some frozen vegetables these are just some leftover green bell peppers and some sweet peas combine everything together cover for another two minutes to steam up the veggies two minutes later i went to open it up and it was so so good and all that was left now is to serve and enjoy if you have watched this video up to this very moment that means you like what you are seeing click on the like button it really makes me happy and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed turn on the bell notification so as to be among the first to get notified each time i upload a new video thank you all so much for watching see you again in my next one bye